Since the Rwanda bill has been passed, the Kingston community decided to host a debate on immigration and the borough's input. Dr. Krish Kandia, founder of one of the UK's leading refugee housing charities, spoke about why faith is the charity's motivation to make a change. To speak up in a humanitarian way, whichever government's in power, whichever uh, groups that we're engaging with. So I think faith brings, uh, I guess, more objectivity to the conversation, more compassion. And, you know, we're a faith-based organisation, but we're happily partnering with anyone. We say we're faith-based, but not faith-biased. And that means we can work with refugees from different faith groups. Uh, we can work in collaboration with people that maybe have no faith or different faith to ourselves. But we can still allow our purpose to drive what we're doing, to speak up for vulnerable people and make sure they get the support that they need. Associate Vicar Emma Lauf shared her thoughts on how the church can offer support to the refugees. I think one of the things that we can do is be a place where we're offering a safe space for people to both find um, safe uh, community um, to learn more about um, the culture around them um, but also to give them a space where they can um, express their own culture, their own community. John Azar, CEO of Kingston Race and Equalities Council, shared why some people are hesitant to welcome immigrants into the nation. There's a perception that people who come from abroad, particularly from certain countries, are bad and that asylum seekers in particular are dangerous and criminals. In fact, my own experience is that most of the people who behave like that have never actually met a refugee or an asylum seeker and actually shook hands with any of them. And once they get to know them and know that they are human like everybody else, then they change their mind. With perspective being a hindrance in the immigration debate, Ron Muscio, Conservative Party candidate for Greater London, talked about a potential solution. Looking at the way uh, the immigration debate is being taken place, I think the language is what's been missing in this. Um, yes, we want control of our borders, but we need to have a language of appreciating hard work and of having responsibilities, not just for ourselves, but for each other.